Greetings, beautiful people. This is your AJ speaking, and uh, I am about to show for you the moderate, also known as science ending, to the meat goat secret mission, choose your own adventure thing in Astronauts. Uh, now, I did this last night when I was streaming, and I forgot to hit the record button, and I was like, I could just rip my stream and then cut it. And it's like, no, no. I was really tired and kind of sick last night. And so I don't think that what I did was terribly entertaining. So I figure I might as well just do this right now and uh, give you a fresh, slightly less sick and stupid run of the ending. Now, uh, spoilers. I mean, this whole thing is obviously spoilers, but I'm just colloquially saying that spoilers, I think this ending sucks. I don't like it. but uh, And I especially don't like that I literally, six sessions, six multiple hour sessions, like ranging from two to four hours, that's how long I had to grind in order to get to this point where I had enough of the stupid secret condition moderate points in order to unlock this ending. Um, and when I unlocked it, it was super underwhelming. Whatever. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to save you the hassle. So if you agree with me that this ending sucks, and what you get out of this ending sucks, then hopefully I will have saved you the trouble of experiencing what I experienced. All right, so let's roll. We're commencing the ritual. And, uh, da 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 da, strange assemblage of harvested organs, blah blah. You're on a ship. Let's examine the lab. And if you, you want to read the lore, you can look at my other videos. You can hit the pause button. All right. In the lab, there's equipment. Hack the terminals to find out who was the South Koreans. The South Koreans did it. And you go to the crew quarters. There's stuff there, and the, oh, there's a dude, it's a horny goat dude. You take the sheets off, there's a horny goat dude. All right, boom. Reactor room. So in the reactor room, we always approach with caution. And then, so I, I have embrace it or study it because my, my, my stupid thingy count is the same uh, for, for both of these things. Um, my, my stupid BS hidden conditions uh, so I get to choose whether I want to do get the cultist ending or I want to get the um, the science slash moderate ending if I were to go out right now and destroy one meat to bring my my uh, zealot counter up one then I would have another option here that says purge it but we're going to study it instead. And we're going to marvel at the novelty. Okay, that means able to note notice details better than most. So uh, it gives you the observant thing. Uh, one of the things that people mention in the Discord is that the real uh, benefit from these quests, the, the real bonus, is in the changes to your character that you get from taking um, the actions in the quest. So, for instance, by choosing that option, I got able to notice diesels better than most. I got the observant condition tagged onto my character, which is pretty nice. I think I, I don't know. I don't know what these. I don't know if these conditions do literally anything. No, nobody knows except you know the devs, and maybe they don't even know. Um, I. I <laughs> this game has, has so many complicated moving parts, and it's, it's really unclear whether any of them work. Um, okay, so it speaks. Uh, why then, you know, it's, oh yeah, before you can continue, the creature's voice breaks through the noise in your mind, speaks to you with surprising clarity. Uh, why should we fear the next stage in our evolution? All right, so uh, if you offer rebuttal, then I think it, it makes you like stubborn or something. I'm, I'm gonna try, so that's what I did last night. I, it gave a negative trait. So I'm gonna try listen and discuss. Uh, apparently this 
made my guy more opti optimistic or something. Reluctant Harvest. All right, so extract and consume the heart makes you more um, makes you more fit, increases your fitness from feeble, so not feeble, from unfit to nothing, or nothing to fit. Uh, so I don't know what dice and fry liberally does. Let's see what the dice and fry liberally does. Oh, it makes you gluttonous. Oh wow, that super sucks. That 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 sucks horribly. And at the end of the mission, you get a meat planter. It's a thing that you can install in the floor that produces meat. And hold on, let me, let me scrap this altar. All right, boom. And now you can install the meat planter right here. And there you go. You have a meat, you can admire the meat planter, just like a regular planter, except this thing will produce meat. I don't know what producing meat looks like, because apparently people have complained in the uh, Discord that the meat doesn't actually drop terribly often. Um, but you can still admire it for its beauty, this meat. Um, I'm gonna go, because I was Again, deeply unsatisfied with all that crap. I'm going to go back to the main menu. And I'm going to slowly, slowly load uh, the save again. And when I do, I'm going to go for the other options in the, uh, in the thing. And let's see what we can get. Five minutes later. All right, I'm back. And apparently, I was hoping to just do this video in one decent-sized cut. But uh, that, that didn't work out. Um, so I got interrupted in a thought. Um, so my thought was, all right, so there are three different endings. So there's the, the uh, Zealot ending gets you the best weapon in the entire game, um, which is a, a two-space uh, spear that can fit in your backpack. So... So, uh, yeah, it's an amazing weapon. Always get that. Never not get that. Like, it's good. And also, the good news is that if you're playing the game just normally without metagaming, like I've been metagaming to get all these different uh, endings for you, it is... Uh, that's the ending you're going to get anyway, just by default. Uh, now, let's say you get the cultist ending, then uh, one of the conversation options will increase your... Uh, strength level and in this one one of the conversation options will increase your fitness level so those those are you know pretty okay theoretically you should be able to train strength and fitness uh, at on, on on exercise equipment on your ship or wherever you install it so yeah this treadmill the strength trainer like that's in theory that's the thing that's the thing um, but in practice, maybe not so much. You know, in practice, maybe it sucks to suck. Um, oh, man, I'm so frustrated by it. Uh, but, yeah, so... And, and I should probably put my phone on silent so people texting me doesn't show up. Whatever. So, uh, but the, the theoretically, the main rewards are that if you do the science ending, you get a meat planter that produces meat very infrequently people on the discord were complaining about that and that that's it and you can admire the meat planter if you do the um the cultist ending then you would get blessed by the goat without end and in that case when you're blessed by the goat without end you um you get immunity to hypercapnia which i tested literally right after i got it and it literally did not work so it's a condition which is bugged. I, I don't know. It just it it pisses me off. Um, I'm very unsatisfied with the ending of this quest. And uh, one of the things that bugs me. All right, approach with caution. Study it. 
One of the things that bugs me specifically about this quest is that, um, so this, this goat thing in the science ending, you walk up to it and then like squish it like a bug. I, I, I don't know. It's weird. It's really weird. It's, uh, I really love the, um, I'm trying to remember what, what it's called, but there's a style of storytelling where it's kind of like low fantasy where there's also an implication that all of the supernatural elements are in fact just like hallucinations or their, you know, imagination or something and it's left ambiguous. So, uh, the guy who wrote, uh, the last kingdom book, let's see the book series, the Saxon stories that, uh, Bernard Cornwell, uh, yeah, uh, did a really great job of that in the series. Um, there's a really great mod for uh, for the original Mountain Blade called Britain Walda that actually got um, basically bought by the devs and turned into its own uh, expansion. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was called, the, uh, hold on, Mount and Blade, yeah, Viking Conquest, that's what I thought it was, so, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, supernatural elements in the game where it's left ambiguous whether or not that's real or you're imagining it or, you know, something like that, or there, there's a phenomenon you don't understand, uh, or you're recontextualizing a... Uh, a natural phenomenon in the context of your culture. I like that. I just really don't like the idea of this mission. It just implies that you're just having a weird psychedelic freak out experience. Uh, but then you walk out of it with real stuff, which may or may not be real. I, I, I don't know. It's just, it's, I don't like, I don't like this. I was okay with the cultist ending and the zealot ending because at least those went well. They were kind of ambiguous. It's like, oh, you know, like that's it was straightforward. This one, it's like, oh yes, you approach the situation with a rational, uh, sciency kind of perspective, and that means that you can just, uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's weird. You you can just defeat this goat. Through the power of science, I it just did not like it. All right, so I have no sense of humor. That's interesting. That's what happens when you uh, approach. Oh, oh, oh! Wow, and skilled in biology. That's interesting. So you get the biology skill if you, uh, yeah. At the end of the day, meat is meat. Uh, it's something you've seen before, admittedly, unless uh, anthropomorphic. You retrieve the tools of your trade. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So so you get humorless and you get skilled in biology if you choose that. That's actually pretty that's pretty cool. Um, mind you, as far as I know, skill in biology is completely useless, does nothing. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Alright, um so So I already did offer rebuttal and ignore it no, I didn't do ignore it like an illusion. So offer rebuttal makes you like stubborn or something. Uh, listen and discuss. We did that before. It gives you. I'm trying to remember what it was. It was just a couple minutes ago. Um, it gave you some good trait. I, I don't remember. All right, I'm going to submit to evolution. Let's see what that does. Rarely stands up for themselves or beliefs. That's interesting. What? Oh, wow. So you you actually can get the cultist ending from this stupid thing. That's that's interesting. Oh, and of course I get the freaking pause bug. One of the things that I've been running into a lot in um, in the past week is the pause bug, which is a bug where all of a sudden the pause button no longer works. So it doesn't work if you hit the space bar, and it also doesn't work if you hit the pause button in the bottom right. Uh, hand of the screen with your mouse, um, your cursor, and usually hitting escape twice will uh, stop the bug. 
Uh, I haven't, I haven't, uh, actually, no, I, I just, I was about to say, I haven't actually filed a bug report. I'm like, no, actually, I have. I, I just, I filed so many bug reports, I, I forgot which ones I've actually filed. So, I'm going to run this through this one more time. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild and annoying that, like, you can get the, the science, the, the, the cultist ending from the science ending? Why can't you get the different endings from all the endings? That's, that's what I've been asking myself when we've been doing this kind of BS, like, I've been doing this grind where, okay, while this is loading, I'm going to go check right now. I'm going to go through my freaking YouTube streams and just add up. All right. Let's see. So. This is the entire length of time that I have... Um, that I have um, been grinding this specific ending to this quest. All right, 550 minutes so far, just two videos. All right, let's see, what other ones? That's three videos, 728 minutes. One thousand minutes for one more video. Twelve hundred minutes for another video, and the last video. Thirteen hundred and seventy nine minutes, twenty two hours, twenty two hours and fifty nine minutes, literally twenty three hours of grinding of my real ass life. I have been working on this grinding for this one mission. Uh, to, I mean, to say that I am uh, frustrated, upset, um, I am disappointed. Th these are not words that can describe this. To be fair, I wasn't spending those 23 hours only grinding this, but there are timers in how you can grind. So uh, you have to, to grind the stat, you have to eat meat, you have to look at television and watch uh, stories about perpetual meat, you watch the same freaking news story about perpetual meat like several dozen times, you have to look into your pocket, uh, grab a trencher's packet and ponder the meat. Like, just s stare like at the meat for like 30 seconds in-game and think, wow, what is up with this meat? Hello, meat. Um, and then, at the end of it, uh, yeah, and, and 
So uh, obviously you can't just spam eating the meat because you get stuffed after you eat one of it, right? So you can only, I think, like do this stuff like once every hour or so in game. It's it's it was hard to track, but like I've literally been grinding at it for twenty three hours of my actual life. I. I'm going to be considerably less polite than I usually am about my criticism of the game development. All right, I'm going to study it. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what pinching yourself to disbelieve does. Distrustful. Yeah, so that's a bad one. You don't want that. Um, let's say ignore it like an illusion. What's that do? Uh, it makes you stubborn. All right, and let's keep clean and harvest what you can. So if you extract and consume the heart, you get the, you advance on one on the track towards fitness. All right, so let's keep clean and harvest what you can. All right, so you're unlikely to indulge in pleasure for pleasure's sake. Uh, and you, you show significantly more care in your work than others. Uh, so yeah, that, that sucks. Um, let's see, what do you got? What does that actually mean? Stubborn, diligent, and temperate. Yeah, this this sucks. I'm not a fan. But uh, but yeah, I did it for you. I did it for you guys. I I hope that this is useful information for you. I'm gonna end the video here. And go into freaking Da Vinci 19 and uh, cut out the extended loading screeny sections where I wasn't saying useful information. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for walking, watching. Um, yeah, if if you, I, I don't necessarily care about feeding the algorithm, but uh, if you want to say something in the comments section. Just to, you know, let me know what you think. Am I being dramatic? Am I, like, being too nice? I don't know. I'm, I'm curious what uh, what y'all's thoughts are. And I, I, I mean, I'm doing this thing because I, I crave attention. Like, so I like it when you guys talk to me. Thank you so much, you beautiful people. Peace out.